They say a woman's place is in the kitchen, but moms know today, we're always in the minivan. It's a proven fact that moms spend 107% of their lives in the car, waiting for kids to finish practice or simply to find their shoes. From Pathios, this is Carline Confessions. Here, we'll talk about what's going on on the other side of the windshield. From our minivan to yours, we hope that we can make the wait just a little easier. Don't make us come back there. Carline Confessions for Path Studios. Rebecca Cousy in Washington, D.C. in her Toyota minivan. And me in Tennessee, Nancy French in my Honda Pilot. We're interviewing Tara Edelshek, who is in the Cambridge Public Library, I believe. Welcome, Tara. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Uh, now, Tara tell us where you are. I am in the basement of the Cambridge Public Library while my kids are up on the third floor in the children's room reading Pokemon cartoons. Now Tara writes, writes the Homeschool Chronicles uh, blog at Pathios and she has some lovely things that she's writing. So she writes a lot about her faith and her family and so we asked her to bring a picture of her family uh, so that we could kind of get to know them a little bit better. Can you show the picture and describe it, Tara? Sure. I should say uh, um, there's a theory among some homeschoolers that everything your kids could need to learn, they could learn from you, and that they'll learn as you're learning, and that you're modeling the process of learning. So it doesn't matter if you don't know how to play the piano, you'll learn, and your kids will learn with you. Anyway, when you see this picture, you'll know that's not true, and that's why. Um, <laughs> I do not teach the art portion of homeschool, but here we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can you see? All right. I don't, of nice. course, I'm like, there yeah. we go. Okay, here we go. So, the, I'm spatially challenged too, apparently. Okay, this is Jeff, my husband, and in his hands, he's got a cross because he's a campus chaplain. Okay. and a hammer because he's very handy and he built our house. He built your whole house? Um, no, but it was the cheapest house per square foot in all of Cambridge when we bought it and it had to be gutted. It was disgusting. There was like a little hole in the bathroom where you could stick your hand out and wave to people as they came through. <laughs> it, it, it was a disaster. Right. Anyway, so he's very handy. Uh, where am I? This, can you see me? This is me, <laughs> and I froze when it came to me, but anyway, I stuck a piece of chalk in my hand um, because I teach, the, uh, I teach our two youngest kids, two, okay. that's two. I teach our two youngest kids at home, um, and I teach Sunday school, and I taught public high school for eight years, so that's my green chalk. This... Yeah. Yeah, is Nafisa. She's also pink. All the females in our in the picture are pink. So <laughs> this is um, Nafisa, who came to live with us two and a half years ago when her mom died. We knew her family from church, and she goes to the high school right next door to the library. This is Zach, who's ten. Oh, Nafisa just turned sixteen. This is Zach, who's ten. He has a soccer ball because all he wants to do is play some kind of ball sport all day long. And this is Ezra. Um, who's the youngest, he just turned nine, and he is um, dyslexic, but just learned how to read in the last year and has a book in his hand nonstop. So, wow. oh, and then somewhere in here, ah, yeah. Here's Hazel, she's the newest member of our family. She's our five-month-old Labradoodle. Aww. And she has a tennis ball, because she likes to play fetch. She is adorable. I've seen pictures of her. <laughs> she's really, really cute, which is good because she's horrible. <laughs> Naomi, so help me don't touch any of those cups.